Hello and uh, welcome to our webinar today. Uh, I'm excited to be with you and to be with sharing you some, I think, some great concepts and some important concepts about uh, search engine optimization. Um, our course today is titled well, uh, uh, SEO Basics, and uh, we've got some good information for you today. Okay, uh, first thing I want to in introduce myself, my name is Bruce Ekman, and uh, I'm the president and CEO of EasyNet Tools, and I'm excited to be your presenter today for you and to, to talk to you a little bit about these, uh, I think, exciting things. And uh, what I'd like to do at the beginning of the webinar is just kind of go over uh, what we're going to tell you what we're going to talk about today uh, so you kind of know what's coming up. Uh, the first thing I want to do is just quickly review the three keys to success on your website and in your web business. And uh, hopefully somewhere you've got that before, but I just want to make sure because uh, everything we do and all of our webinars that we're working on right now fit into one of those three keys to success. And so it's important that you know that. Uh, then we're going to talk about what is SEO, why, why it's so important. Then we're going to talk quickly about some definitions of some, some words that we'll use that are important for you to know. Then we're going to talk about keyword analysis. And uh, then we're, we're going to go into the essential SEO elements. Then we'll talk about some of the others. And then we want to talk about a new product that we've got out called the Top 10 Optimization Report, which I think is an incredible tool for you to use in helping you to get better rankings in the search engines. Now, t today's webinar is really just kind of a bird's eye view of, of everything. We're not going to get into too much detail. Uh, it's always tempting for me to, to jump down into that. And, and uh, last week I got into just a little more detail than I wanted. But this is kind of just to lay the foundation, just to kind of let you know what's going on so you have an understanding. And then we are planning on having additional webinars to go down into that detail and really talk about how to, how to do this, the nitty gritty of it, uh, in, in the upcoming weeks. And uh, I was talking with, with uh, one of our uh, members yesterday, and I to told him that next week we were going to do uh, building backlinks. And uh, I I'm, I'm apologize to him for that because that was not correct. Next week we're actually going to talk about keyword analysis in detail. And then the following week, we'll talk about uh, we'll get into building links and, and the other items, and I'll, we'll talk about that a little more just right at the end. So let's go ahead and just review quickly the three keys to success, success uh, in your online website business. And I think that these are critical, and I think that a lot of times there are a lot of people out there that don't use all three keys to success, and these are critically important. The first key is to have a great website. But your website's not going to do anything for you unless people see it. So you've got to do something. You've got to take action to drive traffic to that website. Then once you've got the traffic going to that website, then you need to start looking at increasing your conversions, increasing your conversion ratio. Um, on, on what that means, a conversion is whatever you want your website to do. If you're selling something, it's easy to measure conversions because every time you make a sale, that's a conversion. So you want to increase your sales. If you're a politician, a conversion weed would be possibly to get somebody to vote for you. So to increase your conversions, you can measure that with the number of votes you get. If you, you know whatever your business is, uh, some may be a little bit harder to define. But what is it that you want the people on your website to do? You need to measure that, and then you need to to work on increasing it. And we'll go into those. Uh, the way to do that later on in some other webinars down the, down the path. But right now, we're really focusing on uh, driving traffic to your website, which is the second key. And uh, these, uh, the, the, this webinar today is uh, really one of the first ones that we're doing on how to drive traffic to your website. So an important, important key. So let's first talk about what is SEO. And in, in order to do that, you really need to understand cert, SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization. And in order to do that, we need to really kind of break down a search engine into, into its pieces and see what we're really trying to do here. If you go out to uh, Google and you do a search, this is the type of page that uh, you'll get. And uh, I did a search on a great topic, dog food, one of my favorite topics to, to uh, study about. 
So th this is the search results for dog food. And I forgot to put a space in between the dog and the food, but it still sort of figured it out and, and brought it up. So this is the search page for dog food. Now if we break this page up into pieces, we'll see that um, across the top and down the side are all areas for paid advertising. And if you want to get your ad in those areas, what you're going to do is you're going to do what's called pay-per-click advertising, where you actually go in and you pay Google to put your ad up there by bidding on those positions. And your position is, on here is ranked by um, how much you bid on that position, plus how popular your site is, and some other uh, magical things that Google uses to, to get your ranking on there. But you can always put more money to it and get higher up the list on these on these advertising things. And again, that will be a, a future webinar where we'll talk about pay-per-click advertising. But what we're talking about today is really the center area of the search engines, which is called organic listings. Um, and the organic listings are, um, they're, they're basically, there's no, you can't pay, pay for them, it's all ranked by Google. And the idea is to get ranked better, to move your site up to the top of these organic listings. And so search, search engine optimization is really geared around the organic listings and getting good high listings on these. Okay. Uh, also another thing just to note on that page, um, if you look right up at the very top, right under the search word, it will tell you how many results that it pulled back. And you can see for the for the word dog food, it pulled back 288,000 results, and that's dog food misspelled without a space in it. Okay, 288,000 results. So this is this is how many sites that you're going to be up against when you're when you're doing a search and when you're trying to get that up there. You can always see how many sites are out there. And nowadays, it's not uncommon to uh, do a search on some topic and get back several million results. So um, you've got a lot of people out there that you're trying to get in front of when you're doing SEO. Okay, So let's talk about SEO and, and why, it's, why you need to be thinking about it and why you need to be doing it. Um, the Georgia Institute of Technology recently did um, some research and that research indicated that 75% 75, 75 of people that used a search engine never go further than the first page. Okay, So if your website is doing really well and you're on the second page, you're going to automatically lose 75% of the people. 75% of the people that do searches are never going to see you. Okay. So that, that immediately cuts you to only 25%. And the further back down the list you are, the worse it's going to be. Okay? And it gets and it really drops off fast. So this tells us that it's incredibly important that your website's got to be on that first page. And uh, typically the search engines have 10 sites listed on that first page. So it's critically, critically important for your page to be in that top 10, okay? And that is why we're here today is to help you to start to look at how to do that, okay? So what is SEO? What is search engine optimization? Uh, and, and it's simply nothing, nothing more than playing king of Bunker Hill. Uh, when I was a kid, all the, all the neighborhood kids would go out and there was a big dirt pile and, uh, you know, we'd try pushing the other guys down so that we were the one on the top. And basically that's what SEO is, is doing things to keep you on the top, to keep you in that top 10 on the search engine. So when somebody types in the particular keyword that you're working on, you're the one that comes out in that top 10 on that first page. So we're just playing king of Bunker's Hill. Um, years ago, I had uh, um, a gentleman that came to me and he said, I'll give you $500 bonus if you'll keep my web page on the very top of the the search engines on the front page. For every month that you keep it up there, I'll do that. And this was early, early on. And so I said, okay, I can do that. And at that time, SEO was pretty simple. But there were three of us with three different websites that knew how to do it. We knew how to push other people down. 
And so we were constantly playing this game of King of Bunker Hill. Every morning I'd come in and I'd see what the other two guys had done. Then I'd go out and I'd work on it and push them down, and now I'd be on top for a while. And then we, we just played that game constantly, working on our web pages to do that. Well, pretty soon uh, the search engine guys looked at that and they said, man, we've got people out there that are pushing everybody down. And it, you know, it, it may not be fair because we could control the search engines and we could control the listings that people got back. And, uh, you know, they may not be relevant. And, and there are people that were doing, in my opinion, unethical things like, uh, you know, they may be selling some product that had nothing to do with it, but they a popular search term was uh, NFL football. And so they would rank their page really high. So if anybody typed in NFL football, their, their page came up and they had nothing to do with it. And so the search engine companies went out and they started analyzing the pages in detail and looking for tricks and looking for things that people were doing to try to manipulate the search engines. Okay? And so it got more difficult really quick. Not only was I up against the other guys that knew how to do it, but now we were playing on a constantly changing playing field because the search engines were trying to not allow us to manipulate those search engine rankings. Uh, and so now we have the picture today where we still try to get good rankings, and, and there's, there's basically two ways to do it. There's what's called white hat and black hat. And if you think back of the old TV westerns, uh, the white hat guys, they're the good guys, and the black hat guys, they're the bad guys. Okay? And so we want to use and we want to teach you how to use white hat techniques to get to the top of the search engine listings, not the black hat techniques, not trying to manipulate and trick and, and uh, those kind of things. Because if you get caught doing that, you can get blacklisted, and uh, then you'll be in real trouble. Your website won't be anywhere at all. So what we're doing with white hat techniques is we're trying to get good listings by doing good things and providing Google with good information so that they can put it in the right spots. Okay, And that's important to do. If you don't do any SEO, Usually, you won't get that good of a listing. You can get sometimes you can luck out, and you can get good listings, and we've built a lot of uh, of this right into our tools. But there are some other things that you need to do to really build good, solid rankings on the search engines, and and we'll go go over those just kind of a bird's eye view today, and we'll talk in more detail later about those. But SEO is incredibly important, and let's talk wh about why search engine optim optimization is so important. Okay. Uh, recently, Nielsen and NetRatings did uh, some research, and uh, right now they're telling us that there are over one billion people on the internet. So that is an incredibly huge market out there. There are a lot of people that are potential customers for you, or potential potential visitors for your website. 